can't find wholesalers, vendors, distributors, suppliers, dealers, by the way, those are all kinds of different names that you're going to find for wholesale companies. Vendors, distributors, suppliers, dealers. Those are the link, that's the lingo that you're going to want to look for when you're looking at websites and different things. Here's the truth. Across the world, across America, all the time, there are trade shows trade show websites that these vendors have to go and register. So they pack up half of their store, set up stuff in, in trade shows and show you their product and they want your business. Now, trade show websites are much better at delivering wholesale vendors to you than let's say Google. So a lot of people are like, oh, Google is the only place to find wholesale vendors. Oh, that is so not true. So I'm going to give you one quick resource that if you do, if you get nothing else and you hit end and you move on from this podcast right now, go to mommyincome.com slash 100. That's the number one zero zero. And you're going to find a link to the trade show stalking video. What does this mean? This means that you're going to go to ASD's website, for example, and you're going to see all of their vendors and you're going to be able to reach out to them right now, even though they don't have a trade show going on today. You can find thousands, and I mean thousands, this is no joke, this is not an exaggeration, thousands of wholesalers um, within an hour from this website. Now, is it going to take you longer to comb through categories and find the vendors that you want? Sure. Mommyincome.com slash 100, you will find this video and by the, the, this five minute or less video that you can watch, and then you'll be able to find wholesale vendors and distributors from there. You can also do a local search. So this is one of my favorite things to be able to find local distributors. Why are local distributors so much fun? Because number one, they're regional. You can access them faster and easier than say somebody in a different state. They might sell worldwide, but they're local to you. What does that also mean? That also means the potential for picking up things and not having to pay freight or having freight be cheaper. So look for local. Google, you know, wholesalers in my area, wholesalers in this zip code, in this county, in this state. What are the products manufactured in my state? Just Google that and see all the things, write them down, start visiting their websites. This does not have to be so complicated. You just need a place to start. And if you haven't started anywhere, the trade show stocking video, mommyincome.com slash 100, that's the first place to start. You can find so many vendors and there's so many trade shows to even look at. You can look at Halloween trade shows. You can look at food trade shows. You can find them. Again, Google is your friend. Now, another thing is industry newsletters. So industry newsletters are great things to subscribe to in order to get the latest on the products that are coming out, the vendors that are featured, new wholesalers that have created brand new products that want to sell to you. Industry newsletters are like Retail Insider or um, this, you know, look for retail newsletters or retail companies that talk about up and coming products, product trends. So again, a quick Google search will let you go into like Retail Insider or um, <clears throat> things like that, that can help you to find wholesalers and distributors that are willing to work with people. Another really easy way to find some wholesale distributors is to look on the back of the product. Yes, grab an actual product, go to Target, Walmart, somewhere else. Grab a box, look at manufactured by on the back. Near the barcode, it's going to show you a name and an address of who manufactured that product. Or distributed by or manufactured by. Write that stuff down and then do your research. Guess what? Being in business is pretty much all research. After you do all the research, the selling stuff is the easy part. The hardest part is finding good profitable products, which we're going to talk about, and those types of things. So doing the research and for... You know, I know during these crazy, you know, times where we've all been on quarantine and things are starting to open up and there's, you know, sickness and viruses and things like that. I'm not sure how many trade shows are going to actually be this year or how different they will look. But I can tell you this, companies still want to sell product. They still want to sell product to anyone who's buying and they're going to want to connect with people. If they can't do their normal trade shows, they are going to be desperate to get the customers that are coming into trade shows that way. So look for their online presence, sign up for their newsletters, get a separate Gmail account that's only for your wholesale stuff and put everything in there so that you can communicate with vendors and, and get these different you know catalogs and things like that. So don't skip those things. Okay. 